Right now, though, we bring you the uh, Majority Leader of the United States Senate, the Honorable Mitch McConnell. Senator McConnell, always great to have you. Welcome back, and welcome to the new Hugh Hewitt Show. Yeah, good morning. Congratulations on your new show, Hugh. Well, I like doing the morning. It's a lot more fun to get ahead of the news rather than try and catch up with it. Let me ask you, Senator McConnell, there are breathless reports nearly every day of cracks in the wall against the Supreme Court nomination of Merrick Garland. Do you see any cracks in that wall? I don't see any. Uh, We had a couple of uh, our members in blue states that have a contrary view, but there's, uh, you know, 52 others who are very comfortable with uh, no hearings and no votes. And the reason for that is pretty clear. You have to go back 80 years to find the last time a vacancy on the Supreme Court occurred in the middle of a presidential year uh, was confirmed by the Senate. You have to go all the way back to 1888. Grover Cleveland, a Democrat in the White House, to find the last time a senator of the opposite party confirmed uh, a nominee to a vacancy in the Supreme Court occurring in a presidential year. If that were not enough, you is, I'm sure you've talked uh, on your show repeatedly, uh, Joe Biden, when he was chairman of the Judiciary Committee in 1992, a presidential election year, said if a vacancy occurred, they wouldn't fill it. Harry Reid said uh, 10 years ago that the Constitution didn't require the Senate to even have a vote. And Chuck Schumer, the next Democratic leader, apparently, uh, helpfully said, in terms of this particular issue, 18 months before the end of Bush 43's uh, second term, that had a vacancy occurred, they wouldn't fill it. So, look, we we know if the shoe was on the other foot, this was a Republican president uh, nominating uh, someone to the Supreme Court for a vacancy occurring in a presidential year, the Democratic Senate wouldn't act on it, and we're not going to either. So I am very justifiably proud about helping jumpstart hashtag no hearings, no votes. You believe there will be no hearings and there will be no votes. You're certain of that, Majority Leader McConnell? Yeah, there will be no hearings and no votes. <clears throat> and, and I did notice that, uh, you, that you picked up on that very quickly. And I think it's been very helpful uh, because... The left is all in a stew. You know, they're out there running ads and have, you know, paid people to show up at Chairman Grassley's uh, town hall meetings to try to harass him. But he's been the rock of Gibraltar. Uh, I think the American people understand that they ought to weigh in. We're right in the middle of a presidential election. Now, we ought to hear from them uh, as to who they want the next president uh, to be uh, before we fill this vacancy. Not Barack Obama on the way out the door uh, the lamest of lame ducks, uh, basically tipping the balance on the Supreme Court to the left for who knows how long, maybe the next quarter of a century. This is no small issue, and I assure you the Senate will not act on a nominee by Barack Obama. Hi, this is Hugh Hewitt. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Click right here to watch previous ones that you may not have seen, and click right here to subscribe to get all of them. And this is what you really need to do, is click right here to subscribe. Thanks for coming by. Don't miss a minute of any of the Hugh Hewitt YouTubes.